around it was on the way back from the moon. Uh, we had a spacewalk. Uh, we had opened the door. Uh, Mattingly was outside uh, uh, working on an experiment about three meters away. Uh, I'm inside looking out in my spacesuit, and I see this wedding ring floating out the hatch. <laughs> uh, now we're moving through space, probably 4,000, 5,000 kilometers per hour, uh, but there's no atmosphere, so the ring just floated out the door. I reached for it, I missed it, floated out, and about three minutes later it hit him on the back of the head. <laughs> Uh, I was thinking, well, lost in space, uh, and, but instead of bouncing off into space, the rain took a 180-degree bounce and started back towards the door, uh, and it floated back into the hatch about five minutes later, and I grabbed his rain. <laughs> uh, the uh, food that we had was uh, mostly dehydrated. Uh, we... Uh, uh, had to add water to it. Uh, it didn't look very appetizing, but it was actually uh, uh, pretty tasty. Uh, we had hot water uh, on the command module, so we had hot food. But on the lunar module, on the lunar surface, we had only cold water. So for three days, we ate uh, cold meals. But to be honest, uh, you were so excited, you didn't care what you ate. <laughs> Uh, and uh, finally, uh, sleeping, uh, zero gravity, as uh, 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 Claude uh, will attest, uh, it's once you get used to sleeping in, in weightless condition, it's very, very refreshing. At first, uh, the first rest period I had, I was uh, underneath the seats, uh, just sort of floating free, uh, waiting for my head to bounce back and off. Uh, uh, as it would do down here, but turned out uh, I went off to sleep and was uh, very refreshed. Uh, the only other thing that uh, I would like to add was the toilet facilities on Apollo were not a triumph of technology, uh, and if you want to know how we go to the toilet in Apollo, it was very, very carefully. <laughs> Uh, it was a beautiful view of Earth. Uh, uh, our first view was uh, actually from an altitude of about uh, uh, 25,000 kilometers. Uh, we could see uh, the. Uh, uh, we could see this is a view of the Earth, uh, and uh, here is uh, California. Uh, this is uh, the southwestern United States, and here, here's Florida, uh, Mexico, the Yucatan Peninsula, uh, Baja, California, uh, the Arctic Circle, uh, the Gulf of Alaska, down across uh, the western, uh, eastern Pacific Ocean. Uh, down here is the northern part of South America, uh, the Gulf of Mexico, uh, and the uh, Caribbean in here uh, with a storm system over the upper United States and one over here uh, over uh, the Gulf of Alaska. A jewel of beauty uh, of the blue and the brown and the white of Earth just suspended uh, in the blackness of space. Uh, it was always day light uh, in space. There is no night between Earth and Moon. The sun always shines. Uh, so when the sun is shining, just like on daytime here on Earth, you don't see the stars. Uh, the only time you see the stars was on the dark side of the moon or the dark side of Earth. Other than that, it was just uh, a blackness, uh, a, a blackness of space, uh, with the moon and the Earth just suspended uh, out there in that blackness. Uh, incredibly vivid memories I have of uh, this uh, this view of Earth we had. Merci beaucoup. Claude, des images similaires en tête, j'imagine. Euh, évidemment, l'orbite terrestre basse donne des, des visions de la Terre bien différentes, dans le sens qu'on est très proche de la Terre. Et puis, on a l'alternance du jour et de la nuit. Je vais vous donner un petit modèle. En fait. Imaginez que ma tête est la Terre, euh, ce verre euh, est la Lune, et ce spot est le Soleil. Alors, comme l'a dit Charlie, si on se déplace de la région terrestre vers la Lune, on est constamment au Soleil. 
Il faut vous imaginer qu'en orbite basse autour de la Terre, à cette échelle, c'est à peu près 1,5 cm de la surface de, euh, de ma tête, euh, orbite euh, terrestre, et puis il y a le jour et la nuit. Là, je suis au jour, et puis là, que je suis dans la nuit, que bien c'est la nuit. Euh, le soleil se couche très rapidement, en 20 secondes seulement. Après une heure de jour orbital, dans le sens que le soleil était au-dessus de l'horizon pendant une heure, le soleil se couche rapidement. Euh, on a une demi-heure de nuit, et puis rapidement, les étoiles euh, apparaissent dans le ciel avec une splendeur inimaginable. 